All right. In the last lecture, we looked at various time complexities, but the time is not the only thing that matters in an algorithm. We might also care about the amount of memory or the space that is required by the algorithm. It's a parallel concept to time complexity. Space complexity is a measure of the amount of working storage an algorithm needs. That means how much memory in the worst case is needed at any point in the algorithm. As with time complexity, here also we mostly concerned with how the space that is needed grows as the size of the input grows. For example, if you need to create an array size of n, or n space will be required. If we need a two-dimensional array of size n by n, or n squared space will be required. Okay, to make things clear, let's look at the two examples below. This is just a block of code, which is summing up the number from a given number till zero by calling recursive calls. So methods like these, which are calling themselves recursively, count in the space stack. So each call adds a level to the stack in the memory. So if each call adds a level to the stack and takes actual memory, this means that we need ON memory space for this block of code. For example, if we call this function for n equal to 3, we see that in each call, it adds a level at the stack. It means it takes a memory in the stack. As the input size grows, the memory that we will, we will need will grow. So for this block of code, uh, space complexity is ON. On the other hand, there might be some cases that n calls do not require ON space. Let's look at second example. Here we have two different functions. In the second function, we are summing up two numbers. Then for any given number of n, we are calling this pair sum function inside loop. Due to the fact that n calls to pair sum function do not exist simultaneously on the call stack, we only need O1 space complexity. Here, uh, the function is not calling itself recursively, it is just called inside this. Uh, loop function and it's not adding any level to the stack that's why it takes all one space complexity okay this is all for this lecture hopefully you understand that we need to take into account space complexity as well time is not the only concern in algorithm performance